Hey guys, Nora Rebel here. Uh, for those of you who are new, because there are lots of new people, I am a late diagnosed autistic adult. I didn't know I was autistic until the age of 29, and so I went a very large portion of my life not having a very big piece of information about myself. Uh, and once I figured that out, it really was life changing, and so I have dedicated much of my uh, spare time since finding out uh, about being autistic to talking about autism on the internet because I really wish I would have been able to find voices uh, of autistic adults many, many years ago. <laughs> so I often answer people's questions about autism and I see certain questions more often or every now and then there's a question that will just really really hit me. Um, and there's a question recently that came in uh, that really, really hit me. And it was uh, talking about, it says, you know, do are there autistic people who only stim in private? I was like, oh my gosh, we really need to talk about this because I spend a lot of time talking about being out and proud and not hiding who you are and trying not to hold in stims and take the mask off and all that good stuff, but I haven't always been in this place. This has been a journey. Um, and before I was diagnosed autistic, my experience was very different. So like, for example, um, there were just certain situations or any time I was around people I didn't know very well, or I would try to be just what I thought was an appropriate adult, air quotes around appropriate, because I think there are some rules for perspective in that. And that included you know, being still, especially in professional settings. Um, and so, you know, like I would literally like, walk out into the hallway uh, from a meeting or like the minute I would like get out in like from the bathroom into a bathroom where nobody was looking at me I would just like <sighs> shake it all out you know because I was just holding it in because I thought it was something to be ashamed of and you know there are things uh, that I still won't do in certain um, circumstances and situations because I realize that it may be disrupting or obnoxious to others around. And so I am restrained in that way to be considerate of the other creatures around me. David gets the most of my loud obnoxiousness. Uh, lots of verbal stimming and talking to myself and singing and making all kinds of noises, and I'm always jumping about. I'm all over the place at home, um, totally unrestrained. And he loves me anyway, and I think he thinks a lot of my little stems and quirks are cute. And I think they're part of what makes me me. But I didn't always feel so comfortable in these things. And there are definitely autistic people who stem in private, or their stems are much more discreet, like, you know, maybe like playing with zippers or jewelry or things that are socially acceptable, because that's kind of what society has told us is okay. Alrighty, guys, thank you so much for hanging out this week. Those are just a few thoughts. Talk to you next time. Bye!